Tuesday's government report that consumer prices jumped 8.5% in March from a year ago was the worst reading since December 1981. It only deepened Biden's challenge in defending Democrats ahead of this year's midterm elections. More than half the increase came from higher gas prices, which spiked in part because of Russia's war in Ukraine, but caused us a jump for housing, food, and other items. Most gasoline sold in the U.S. is blended with 10% ethanol, a biofuel that is currently cheaper than gas. Biden announced that the Environmental Protection Agency will issue an emergency waiver that will allow the widespread sale of a 15% ethanol blend that is usually prohibited between June and September because of concerns that it adds to smog in high temperatures. Biden announced the move at a biofuel company in Menlo, west of Des Moines. Iowa is the country's largest producer of corn, the key to producing ethanol. The waiver is another effort to help ease global energy markets that have been rocked since Russia invaded Ukraine. Last month, the president announced the U.S. will release 1 million barrels of oil per day from the nation's strategic petroleum reserve over the next six months. His administration said that has helped to slightly reduce gas prices lately after they climbed to an average of about $4.23 a gallon by the end of March, compared to $2.87 at the same time a year ago, according to the AAA. Putin's invasion of Ukraine has driven up gas prices and food prices all over the world. The two largest grain producers in the world, China and, uh, excuse me, Ukraine and Russia, are not doing what they usually do, so everything's going up. We saw today's inflation data. Seventy percent of the increase in prices in March came from Putin's price hike in gasoline. We need to address this challenge with an urgency to the demands. That's why I've called on Congress to move immediately to lower the cost of families' utility bills, prescription drug bills, and more while lowering the deficit to reduce inflationary pressures. And that's what we've done. We lowered the deficit by $300 billion so far. The trip will be Biden's first as president to Iowa, where his 2020 presidential campaign limped to a fourth-place finish in the state's caucus. He will arrive saddled with sagging approval ratings and the high inflation, while his party faces the prospect of big midterm election losses that could cause its control of the Congress. <laughs>